Hello lovely, in this video we're gonna give you modal answers and vocabulary about transports. I'm Maria. And my name is Rory, and we are here to help prepare you for IELTS speaking. A little bit of fun along the way. Watch till the very end for the jokes. Oh, the joke is at the end this time. Oh, the jokes are gonna be everywhere. Ah, okay. Kind of like we'll sprinkle this episode with some jokes. Just like that. Oh. Uh. What's the most popular means of transport in your hometown? Well, I think most people get around by car. Um, although you do see a lot of buses also, um, which is good for older people and younger people or very young people who can't drive but also need to, um, well, get about. Means of transport, dear listener. So cars, buses, and I checked the internet and according to the internet, and the internet is always correct, so worldwide, all over the internet, the most widely used modes of passenger transport are cars, buses, air. Air, I think they mean planes or helicopters. And rail, railways, railways. I was like, are people flying to work now? Um, but of course they might be. No, by helicopter, why not, you know? Helicopter, my private helicopter, hey. How much is it to hire a private helicopter? It couldn't be that expensive. Nah, nah, it's Jeez. Private helicopter, like a helicopter taxi, you know. Prices start from £600 per hour, so it could be that expensive. And um, what does helicopter do? Oh, the 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 blades, um, I think, they throb? Throbbing. I'm pretty sure it's called throbbing. So, dear listener, you can say that the popular, the most popular means of transport, okay, means of transport or modes of transport or ways of transport. Ways of transport. No, we don't say that. Uh, you can have a way of transport, a way of transporting things. So, you can say motorbikes, cars, airplanes, animals. Okay, animals are transport, horses, maybe you have horses, or donkeys. Okay, I usually travel by a donkey, no, on a donkey. Well, maybe if you're Mary and you're carrying Jesus. Travel by donkeys or on a donkey? Travel by donkey, but you travel, you ride a donkey. Animal-powered transport, dear listener. Animal-powered transport. Most people get around by car or most people get around by donkeys get around by buses trains helicopters okay is get around a phrasal verb it is a phrasal verb mm. i wonder if there's a course on phrasal verbs that we could advertise right now somewhere in the comments perhaps do check out our phrasal verb course the link is in the comments how do you get to work or school well, in my case, I just get out of bed, uh, turn right and go down the hall because that's where my office is. Um, so I just travel by foot, um, which is a lot better than what I used to do. We, I used to get up at ridiculous o'clock in the morning and take the metro and that was horrible. We get to work, okay? So I get to work or school by car or by bicycle. We don't use an article, so go there, buy a bicycle, no, go by bicycle, go by car, go by bus, right? But people also say I take the train to work, so they're probably talking about a train at a specific time. I take a train to work, or I take the metro, right, take the metro. Get the metro, take the metro. Get the metro, take the metro to work. Also, dear listener, you should use commute. To commute means to get from home to work or mm, to school or to university. And how can we use it in a sentence, commute? Commute? Well, what, I commute to work on the metro? I commute to work on the metro. Or I commute to work by bus. I think it would probably be important to point out right now, though, if you're like me and you work from home, then you definitely do not commute to work. Like, this is talking about a journey that you take to get there. Walking down a hallway is not commuting. And Rory told us that he works from home. Oh, such a long journey, Rory. It is taxing. From your bed to another room. Yeah, you change different buses. So la la, three hours it takes you to get from one room to the other? On a very slow day. So you can say I work from home. Any other synonyms? Can I say that I work distantly or I work... Remotely? Remotely. 
So I can't say I work distantly or I work remotely, yeah? Some people do both uh, in what's called a hybrid arrangement. So um, if you're hybrid, then you work from home some days and you work in the office the other days. I get up at a ridiculous hour. It's a crazy hour and usually that's very early, like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. So you can say, oh, I have to get up at a ridiculous hour and take the metro or get the metro. Ridiculous o'clock in the morning. I get up at ridiculous o'clock in the morning at like 6 a.m., 5 a.m. and have to get the metro. What about a taxi? To work? Yeah. Do you? Well, yeah, I used to. And I, I have to travel by... Uh, no, I have to travel. I choose to travel <laughs> by taxi. That's such a great experience. I remember doing that in Moscow. It was so much fun. Yeah, but I'm asking you about an article, Rory. Oh, right, okay. So what's the phrase? like? I take a taxi to work. Yeah. A taxi. Okay. What about a bicycle? And the same idea. I get to work by bike or I take... A, well, I take my bike to work. I ride my bike to work. I get to work by bus. What about train? Well, it will be take the train if it's at a specific time. Some people take the train at the same time every morning. What about a helicopter? <laughs> if it's if it's a helicopter you own, then you would probably say the helicopter because it's the specific helicopter you have. Uh, I take the helicopter if it's my helicopter, but if I rent, if I rent a helicopter, I take a helicopter to work. Yeah. You share it with other people, I suppose. Although, if you if you do have a hell, if you do um, take the helicopter to work, please let us know in the comments because that would be insane. Will you use public transport more in the future? Well, probably the trains, assuming they're still running on time. I love going to a new city, or well, even just to a place like Glasgow or Edinburgh. Uh, you can just sit back and relax and watch the countryside go by. We have public transport. Do I use an article? So I take the public transport, I go by public transport. What's what's the thing? If we talk in general, then I take public transport to work. But what if we want to talk about a specific public transportation system? Then it will be there. Or I prefer my private car, because some people choose their private vehicles, vehicles or cars, or like public transport. Or maybe your private helicopter, yeah, or your private donkey, or a horse. Maybe you travel on horseback. Private donkey sounds a lot less classy than a private helicopter. Or you can, for example, uh, rickshaws I, in India, so I get to work by a rickshaw. Well, by rickshaw, just the mode of transport. Maybe I'll take the train in the future if the train runs on time or if trains run on time, but trains run on time. Yes, well, they should run on time. Sometimes they get cancelled for no reason, and I become very angry and post about it on Instagram. So you sit back on a train, on a train, you relax and you watch the countryside go by. So you sit there and it's like, beautiful countryside goes by. Also, you can mention the word commuters. So to commute, to get from uh, home to work, or there are many commuters on a train, or in my city, commuters prefer trains. How can I use this commuter, commuters? No, you could, I get the train with the other commuters in the morning. But what new transport, like, and means of transport we have now, which kind of appeared a couple of years ago, and has a bad reputation for accidents. Is it e-scooters? Is that what we're talking about? Electric scooters, dear listener, or e-scooters? I mean, I've never had a problem with them, but apparently they're awful in big cities and people have accidents all the time. You can say that um, many people in my city use electric scooters. They are portable, so they can be folded like this. Yes, yeah, so they're portable. And um, they are a nice alternative to walking or a nice alternative to uh, taking the metro or going by car or by taxi. So this is a recent trend in uh, large cities. What about Scotland, Rory? Do you have electric scooters in Scotland? We do. I, I haven't seen many of them, but they are there. And I've never seen anyone have an accident on them. Although I am aware that in larger cities, this is a problem. Um, but surely this is problem best addressed by having a license for them. I don't think you need one now, do you? I don't know. It's an interesting question. 
So uh, some people say that they are environmentally friendly means of transport. And um, other people say that there are many problems among uh, pedestrians, pedestrians, people who walk on the street, because there are accidents and people died, unfortunately. Yeah. Really? Oh my God, I didn't know that at all. That's terrible. Yeah, yeah. There was some horrid accidents um, in some cities and after that, certain cities banned, prohibited the use of e-scooters in certain areas. Or um, even worse, I think they prohibited banned e-scooters at all. So let us know what what the situation is about e-scooters in your area, okay? And do talk about e-scooters in this um, topic, because this is like the trend, okay? E-electric scooter trend. Are there any traffic problems in your area? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Oh, wait, yes, actually. Um, There's construction work going on at the moment, uh, and we live, uh, it's over the bridge from where we live, um, and we live right next to it. So that area where we live is jammed with cars right now um, and trucks packed um, with all the materials they need. So this vastly reduces the space. It's making it really difficult for people to park. Um, And actually, I think it's quite dangerous for pedestrians as well. So hopefully that gets resolved quite soon because it's not a great situation to be in. Rory, you told us that the place is jammed with cars. Yeah, that just means that there's lots of them together in one space, so it's difficult to move around, especially if you're in a car. But even if you're in a, uh, even if you're on foot, then um, it can be a real struggle. And you can say it's quite dangerous for pedestrians, people who walk. There are like um, drivers and pedestrians. Drivers are motorists, people are pedestrians. Motorists, who are they? Motorists? They're people that drive. I hope it gets resolved soon. So I hope they will solve this problem soon. They will resolve the problem. It's brilliant. There's a massive sign that says this construction work will be finished by the end of October 2023. And here we are in November. So, make of that what you will. And let's wrap it up with a joke, okay? And and by a joke, we don't mean my city council's incompetency and their gross mishandling of construction work. What do you call a Mexican who lost his car? Oh, God. Carlos. Carlos! If you're Mexican, I'm very sorry, but it's very funny. She's not sorry at all. You've never been sorry for any of these jokes. <laughs> we do have our premium episodes, speaking part two and three. No jokes there, only beautiful grammar and gorgeous vocabulary for you. And this week on our premium, we have described a book that you have read many times. And in speaking part three, we discuss books and reading in general. Check out our premium. The links are in the description. Bye. Bye.